Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. In this video, we'll talk about revision strategy for gate preparation. So in gate preparation, revision is extremely important. Because as you know, in any discipline of uh, engineering, in gate syllabus, there are on average 10 subjects. And on average in each subject, there are 10 to 12 topics. So that means overall, if you calculate, there, there will be 100 to 112, 20 topics that you have to prepare for your gate preparation. Now, it's very difficult that you remember all the topics in your mind uh, because, you know, we, our mind has a very limited capacity. And even if you read a topic very well, if you don't revise after a few days, you will be forgetting uh, the topic. And it's, it's very common for all the aspirants who is preparing for gate. And that's why I got a lot of messages uh, from you people that make a video about division strategy because it's not possible to remember all the subjects that you are reading. So that's a periodic revision is very, very important. Now, you know, there is no standard strategy for revision uh, from people to people. They have their different strategy to revise the subject. In this video, I'll be sharing my way of revising subject that I have followed during my gate preparation and that I am going to share with you people. So that will be the content of this video that how you will revise all the subjects periodically during your gate preparation. So if you want to know detail about it, please stay tuned this video till end. And before starting the video, as I always say, if you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you have liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Without further delay, let's start into today's video. Now, there are three stages of gate preparation. First is when you are studying all the subjects and you are attempting previous year question paper or PYQs. Next is when your syllabus is completed and you start attempting mock tests. And final one is before the exam, maybe before 15 days or 20 days when you revise the full syllabus. And I have followed different strategies for each of these stages. Let's first talk about the first stage when I am studying the subjects and solving previous question paper. That time what I used to do is that I used to prepare a short note of each topic from a particular subject. And short note means that it will be a concise summary of the whole topic. Uh, so, for example, you know, I'm studying algorithm and sorting is one topic from algorithm. So, I make a one or two page summary of all the sorting algorithm that is there in the syllabus. And in that summary note, you know, the most important part of the topic should be there. For example, uh, the, the different sorting algorithm name, uh, which particular algorithm paradigm they belong to, what is the time complexity, what is the space complexity, and if there is a you know, important equation coming from that sorting algorithm that will be there. So this is how I make a one or two page uh, summary or short note of each topic. And once that particular subject is completed, around 10 to 12 topics there in that subject, and I move to the next subject, every day I allocate one to two hours to, you know, revisit those summary notes from, from, from that subject and revise that particular subject or that particular topic. And this is a cumulative process. For example, I have completed five subjects and I am now studying the sixth one. Then every day in those one or two hours that is allocated for revision, I go back and study one of the five subjects that I have completed. And I, I, I take their uh, you know summary note and I try to revise it. So this is how I, you know, during when I was completing the syllabus, uh, every day I allocate few hours to revise all the subjects that I have completed before. And obviously, you know, the subjects I have completed, you know, the very early, uh, the priority of revising that subject is higher because, you know, because I have completed the subjects very early, so probably, probably I have already forgotten many things from that subject. So this strategy I have followed during uh, those four or five months of uh, my, my preparation when I was completing the syllabus. Another strategy I used to follow is that I used to attempt the short mock test or the topic-wise mock test during these times. So, for example, I am I'm currently studying a subject or a particular topic, but, you know, all the topics or subjects that I've already completed, I try to attempt topic-wise tests related to those topics because, you know, if we appear for a mock test, it's a great way to uh, revise all the subjects because in the exam, the question will come randomly and it will make you think about the particular question and then you try to recollect all the concepts that you've learned from that particular subject. So this is also another strategy I used to follow that when I'm studying a particular subject, I try to uh, attempt subject-wise or topic-wise mock test from all the subjects that I have already completed. So this will be another way to revise 
the subjects that you have already gone through. Now, once you complete your whole syllabus, this is the time that you have to revise again all the subjects. And mock test is the best way to revise all the subjects and all the topics that is there in the subject. Because as I already mentioned that in a mock test, when you are attempting the question, you know, questions are coming randomly from any subjects. And it makes you think about the subjects and it makes you think about all the concepts that you have learned uh, from that particular subjects and, and try to solve a particular question. So this is a great way to revise. And that's why you always recommend that as much as mock test that you will appear, it's good not only for your time management skill, also for, for your revision skill. So that's why when I was appearing for the mock test, you know, that was that was a great way for me to revise all the subjects that I've learned. That was number one. And second thing is, you know, after appearing for a mock test, you will analyze the mock test, that how well you have done for a, for a particular mock test. And there you will revise for only in few topics or in few subjects you are not doing well. Then what you can do is that you note down those topics and for next couple of days you try to revise those uh, subjects and then appear in the next mock test and then see that how, how much improvement that you have done. So this is how, you know, those uh, couple of months where you will invest fully on mock test, you can you can do the revision, you know, through, through attempting the mock test and after mock test you can analyze and uh, based on your necessity, your demand on which subjects you are not good at, you must go back, see the short notes or maybe the long notes also and, and, and do the revision. The third and final stage of gate preparation is uh, one month before your gate examination and this time you must do a thorough revision of all the subjects that you have learned. And this time not only you have to revise the, the concept related to the topic, you have to revise the previous year questions uh, that, that you have solved and also is there any tricky question that you have encountered in, in different sources. For example, you have encountered tricky question in a standard notebooks or in some mock test. So all of these things you have to do a thorough revision just one month before the gate exam. This is the final revision that you have to do. And here you need to follow the, you know, the, the detailed notes that you have prepared. Here you shouldn't follow the short notes, rather you should go back and from where you have studied the detail about that particular subject. And if you have made a detailed note, you should follow that and you should have a thorough revision of, of the subject. So that, you know, before the exam, your concepts are clear, you have you have gone through all the previous year questions once again, and if there are any tricky questions, that also you have gone through. The more time you will, you will keep for your final revision, that will be beneficial for you. And I personally always recommend people to keep one month before, before the exam. And I don't suggest to give any other mock test before the one month of the uh, gate examination, because this one month, uh, you know, you should focus fully on uh, the concept that you have learned and the previous year question paper that you have solved. So this is the third phase and this is how I actually followed that before the one month of uh, gate exam, I go back, read all the detailed note and, and revise thoroughly for the gate. So yeah, this is how I have prepared my revision strategy during my gate preparation and these different stages, I have followed these different strategies and I personally find this is really, really helpful. Uh, because, you know, in every every stage, it gives you some time to revise all the topics that you have already covered. And this is really, really important. I, I know many people, they don't think that revision is important, but they are completely wrong. You know, you have to revise because our mind has a very limited capacity to remember. Even if you have gone through a subject really well, after a few months, if you don't revise, you, you will forget it. So that's why you should follow um, a strategy to revise. And I hope this strategy, what I have shared in this video will be helpful for all the aspirants. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video to other aspirants as well. And if you're new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon because more videos about gate preparation will be coming up. And if you have any query, you can, you can comment me in the comment section. I'll try to answer them. So yeah, that's it about this video. I'll be meeting in the next video. Until then, 